Hello, happy Wednesday. It's time for Brett's Picks. I'm Gwen Troyer. This is Brett Whitehead. And the voice of the Bears, Gary Ownby, joining us today. This is going to be an exciting broadcast. I hope uh, you share it out with your friends and family. We're so happy that you're watching with us. Brett, you having a good day? Yes. Yeah? You got your bright orange shirt on. Gary, how about you? Having a great day so far. Yeah, man. This has been a good week. We're excited because, you know, there's no school next week. So, you know, this is an exceptional week. Plus, we've got a uh, screening day for our film festival tomorrow. And then, you know, some uh, games going on tomorrow night that we'll talk about. And uh, it's just been a good week. So let's get right into it. Here's a look at our situation for college football. The selection committee posted the new rankings yesterday. And as you can see, Tennessee sitting at number 11, dropped from seven, and really not much of a huge shuffle around in the top 10. Other than that, uh, Georgia moved up, you know, and um, anyway, you can see what's going on there. Illinois at the bottom of the list, and some other teams trying to get up in there, creep in, but I think we're just about out of time. Colorado's even, you know, shuffling in there. Uh, let's look at the next page. This is the... Uh, bracket that would happen as they sit, as everybody is sitting stage today. So 12 teams get in. This is based on ranking and also conference championship. You win your conference in most of those major conferences, you get in. Uh, there are several teams, you know, listed the SEC. Um, you know, you've got some others listed, but four teams from the SEC is pretty thick. And that, that adjustment could prove to put Tennessee back in. If they win out, and maybe a you know a Indiana loss or a Ohio State loss or you know whomever not going to be Georgia because I don't play anybody, <laughs> but uh, it could happen. Yeah. I'm not saying it's going to happen. We have we have those two remaining games. Tennessee plays two more games. They play that UTEP. one that one uh, Saturday. Yep, Saturday UTEP, UTEP. Is coming, and then they travel to Nashville. Play Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. Tennessee didn't right after, fare well against Georgia. Right after Georgia. Thanksgiving. Georgia, Gary and I were talking earlier, Georgia, you know, uh, defense wasn't ready for Tennessee's offense. Tennessee came out, you know, guns a-blazing, scoring really quick. Gary, you mentioned that's kind of been the thing on the road with Tennessee this year. Well, it has. Uh, they, especially they're an underdog on the road, typically. We've seen it year after year, they'll jump out to a lead quickly, and all of a sudden things change if something happens. But I thought Tennessee's defense let them down because they never sacked Beck a single time. True. Never had a, a pick in the weeks leading up to that. He had looked horrible. Yeah, but even the tackles he, for loss behind yeah. the scrimmage line were very satisfying. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, maybe man, maybe it was injuries or something. I don't, you don't know about, but um, it didn't help that George coming off the No, loss it wasn't. The week before it either, wasn't. So, so uh, anyway, Tennessee needs to win out if they hope to get in that mix yeah. right there that you're looking at a top 12. All right, here's a look at the pickers. Gary, you're at the top of the heap. Well, what can I say? By one, <laughs> you know, like, by one. By one, but that one. My nice. dad, my dad's right. Yeah, there's Greg. Professor right there in third. I'm dropped down. <laughs> Brett, you've been moving up every week consistently moving up. I was up. still at number nine. <laughs> you were at nine last week. Tied, there was a bunch of ties. Now you're tied at fifth. So, yeah. I need to, I need to good. do good. You uh, need to keep doing good. Three-way yeah. tie for fifth, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, to, with uh, Carpenter Zach. and Dills, yeah. So, uh, also, do a plug. There'll be a coaches show later today with Coach Carpenter and also Coach Reuter. So you'll want to catch that here on Bear Network. Yeah. Gary will be uh, hosting that, and you'll want to watch that. See what's and the going girls, on this uh, season. The girls play um, tomorrow That's night. That's right. We'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, there's, girls and boys it's play time tomorrow to play night. some ball. So all right, first college game we're going to talk about. SMU ranked number 14, traveling to Virginia. That's a noon game on ESPN2. Gary, who do you think is going to win this one? I'm going to have to go with the Mustangs, I believe. Yeah, pulling their own. And Brett, what do you think? I'm going with SMU. SMU. You know, SMU won a national championship in the late 60s, early 70s. Did they? Yeah, and then they were banned for a while and then came back, brought football. They're the only team that I know of that won a national championship, was considered a major football team and got banned from the, the school playing football. For, for two years, I believe it was. Yeah, and, they and that called. was a pretty, I mean, there's some big money, you know, in SMU. That's a yeah. big school. It promoted all different ways. All right. They're number 13. They moved to 13. Yeah. You're right. I didn't change those, Brett. I didn't yeah. change those. So they did. They're they number 13. 13. All right. Here's Indiana sitting at number five and Ohio State 
at number two, noon game on Fox. So Gary, that, who do you think in this one? I'm hoping Ohio State blows Indiana out to drop yeah, them down. Yeah, and that would move them down, chance. maybe even out of the top ten, as it were, because they don't have a win. They don't have a win that's got substance. You're no, right. No, no, hadn't played a ranked team all year until this coming Saturday. Okay. And Brett? Ohio State. Ohio State. <laughs> All right. And Ohio State has a loss. So, I mean, there's a chance they could move out of the top ten with a loss to a team like Indiana. Yeah. Ole Miss sitting at number 11, going to play Florida at the Swamp. That's a noon game. ABC, Brett, let you pick first. Who you got? I'm going with Florida. Florida for the win in the Swamp. That would be a right pretty after, big... Right after Florida plays Ole Miss, yes. they will play... Florida State. They do. That's their on the third on the thirtieth. That's their in-state rival. Yeah. They love to play that game on the, the, on the like 30th. Tennessee and Vanderbilt. On the thirtieth. On yeah. the thirtieth. On the thirtieth. Gary, who do you have in this one? I'm gonna go with Ole Miss. I think Lane Kiffin's got them headed the right direction. You know, Lane Kiffin's yeah. really set up an offense to he's, remove obstacles, and doesn't matter who he's playing. Um, so yeah, I'm with you there. I think. But that's, Florida's coming off a huge win last they are. week. Too. That's right. Huge LSU. win for them. So right. Can they ride that momentum or not? I don't know. I don't know. Ole Miss is number nine. They moved up too. You're you're correct. I did not change those, Brett. Number nine. All right, Kentucky at number three, Texas. Brett. Texas. I don't know. You got Texas. All right, Texas at home. That's a pretty easy pick. Who yeah. do you think, Gary? Uh, Longhorns in a big one. Yeah, I think this one's going to be a route. Uh, Kentucky um, kind of had some. Uh, Things going early on, but they kind of, you know, gave it up. All right, people saying this team is making waves. Number 17, Colorado 16. at Kansas. Now number 16, 330 game on Fox. And who do you have in this one, Gary? Kansas will win this game. Wow. They, they are, at home. They are red hot right they now. They are. They played a great game last week. Colorado's on the road. I think they may pull this one out, the Jayhawks. Wow, okay. Is it going to be close? You think it'll be close? I or? think it'll be less than 10 points. But. Okay, all right. Well, there you have it. Brett, who you got? Kansas. All right, both of you agree on Kansas. Wow, nice. Pittsburgh at number 19, LSU. This is a 4 p.m. game, ESPN2. And Gary, who do you have in this one? Well, Louisville got upset last week. They did. So I'm going to pick them to come back and beat Pittsburgh. They're, okay. And they're at home, too. And Pittsburgh was ranked for a while, top 25. They just couldn't hold it. Brett, who do you have? I have Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Ended up, ended up losing against Clemson. They did. Yeah, they did. They could have won. They actually threw some uh, shots in there, but it just wasn't. That good. quarterback ran that one in to close that one out. Yes, he did. Next game we have is number 23, Missouri at Mississippi State. 415 game. You're going to watch that on SEC Network. Who do you have, Gary? Well, Missouri got upset last week. And Mississippi State's about as bad as anybody in the SEC can <laughs> yeah, be. True. So I'm going to go with Missouri, of course. Okay. And Brett? Mississippi State. Mississippi State. At home. home. At home. At the home. There you go. All right. Number 24, Army. And they're taking on the mighty number eight, Notre Dame. So this game is prime time on NBC at 7 o'clock. Gary, who do you have in this one? Well, one, I've been one of those guys that never has liked Notre Dame because they seem to get. You know, Credit for a lot of things they shouldn't get credit for, and, and Army's having one of the greatest years they've had in forever. Undefeated. Uh, I would love to see them go into Notre Dame, but if it's at Army on the at West Point, oh yeah, it'd be different. But I, I'm going to go with Notre Dame in the, in the close one now. All right, Brett. Notre Dame. Both teams Notre are Dame. both teams are ranked. So next one Army. Here, uh, yeah, both teams are ranked. You're right. Nineteen and eight. You're right. No. Uh, Nineteen and number eight. Yeah. No. Army 19, Notre Dame is 6. Oh, 6. Moved up. Yeah. All right. And this one means a lot. This is number 10, Alabama traveling to Oklahoma. The Sooners have not had an Alabama team, you know, at home in a while. So another primetime game on ABC. Who do you have in this one, Brett? Bama. Home with Bama. <laughs> number 7. Number 7. They did. They moved up. Yeah. Yes. The same spot where Tennessee was. So, Gary, who do you have in this one? Well, it goes against everything in my body to pick Alabama, yeah. <laughs> but I guess I will go with him. I think it's going to be close. I think Oklahoma says this is the one chance we've got to do something and show the world that we're a decent team. So they have a good defense. They yeah. really do. It's just a matter, you know, kind of like Tennessee at times. They just have a hard time scoring. Okay. They're finding how tough the SEC is. 
Oh, yeah. And here's another one. This one uh, could go different ways. Vanderbilt at number 22, LSU. And I'm saying Vanderbilt, having you know done their due diligence and, and playing really tough this year, what do you think, Brett? What's your pick? I'm going with LSU. LSU at home. Yeah. All right. It's at um, home. It's at home. At home. They need to win. They need to win out. They need to win out. They do. So this is a primetime game. It's on a major network, SEC network. Seven forty-five. But this one does have some implications down the road. Gary, who do you think? Well, LSU got upset last week. They did. Got beat bad. Yeah. And uh, they're playing at home Saturday night, Death Valley. So they just don't lose many there. Vanderbilt, you know what they've done this year? They beat at Auburn and Alabama first time forever, and uh, you got to go with LSU, I believe, though. Yeah. Do you remember the uh, Tennessee LSU game after the hurricane? I think it was 2001. Yes. yes. Was it Casey Clawson? Yes. And nobody gave Tennessee a chance, and yep. Tennessee came out of there with a big win. Yeah. It is hard to win in Death Valley. Yep. And it sure is. Yeah. All right. Here's the last one we're going to talk about. Number eleven. Number 11, Tennessee taking on UTEP, which is University of Texas, El Paso. This is a 1 o'clock game on ESPN+. Plus. Not even a network, cable network <laughs> not, channel. Not on this is only not on, on streaming services. Not on TV. <laughs> not on TV, unless you're watching it on a, you know, a, a Heroku or something like that. Um, let's also mention this. Here are the season leaders for both teams. you got passing yards, obviously. Nico. 11 touchdowns, four interceptions though. Locklear for UTEP with nine touchdowns, five interceptions. Uh, rushing yards, we've got Sampson, who really is carrying the load uh, for Tennessee and, and really dynamic player of the SEC. I mean, he's been offensive player of the, of the week a few times and just an amazing uh, carry the team 21 touchdowns. 21. Team record. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And there's two more games to go in a bowl game, maybe. So then Jackson for uh, UTEP only has two touchdowns. Receiving yards, Thornton carrying the load. Didn't really do a whole lot last week. Four touchdowns. A lot of yards, though. And then Odom for UTEP, 642 yards, seven touchdowns. He's their workhorse. Also, I want to point this out. If you look there in that circle, ESPN has Tennessee with a 99 chance of winning this game. So, Brett, who do you have in this one? I'm going with Tennessee. Go with Tennessee. Going to agree. Yeah. Take the safe route. Go yeah. with Tennessee. Gary? Well, Tennessee, this is the chance you either can come in here and blow this team off the field. Yeah. And that's what they're going to want to do, to make a statement, to get them back in the thought process of the end of the playoffs. Uh, and I hope they're not down, you know, mostly down, because it's senior day for them. It's their last home it game, is. and they're going to use a lot of seniors who knows, and probably some juniors that know they're not coming back like they've done in the past. So Tennessee's going to win this game by about four touchdowns, I think, at least. So one thing that I would like to point out, and we didn't talk about this earlier, but when we were talking about the bracket, so let's just suppose that Tennessee gets into the bracket. Let's just suppose that Tennessee wins a game and gets to – Host a game at some point. Yeah. Do you know where that game's going to be hosted? Mm. Neyland Stadium, <laughs> right Rocky in Knoxville. Yeah. So the way this bracket is working out, they're not pulling away from bowl games yeah. like you know they had talked about doing. That was like the whole purpose. We're going to use this bowl game and play the. No, 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 no. They're doing it totally different. They're waiting and using the home field advantage, just like regular yeah. season. So it's really critical. Like baseball. Tennessee wins like and baseball gets a spot. Does. But Tennessee would be coming in the lower end of the bracket, so they have to win twice to really get an yeah. opportunity to host a game. But there's a possibility. Yes. Use the Jim Carrey <laughs> line. So you're telling me there's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> anyway, well, let's talk about high school. So high school football still rounding uh, all over the area. Uh, a big, probably the biggest game we're looking at in our area other than private schools, is Bearden. Tell us what they're doing, Brett. Bearden uh, has traveled to Maryville. So last last week they won. Yeah. And now they're traveling to Maryville. Lucky them. <laughs> so <laughs> this one's the showdown. This is the classic showdown that takes you into the last two games. Am yeah. I right? Yes, quarterfinals. So, quarterfinals. So this is really a big testament to see if Bearden has anything. But, Gary, you mentioned this earlier. What was the last score? 
Uh, they played earlier this year? 62 to 28, I yeah. believe. 62 <laughs> to 28. And so, I mean, uh, I mean, that kind of sounds like turnovers took place. It, it, I mean, did, into, it got out of hand, unfortunately. Yeah, quarter. you get really into the, you know, those high scores, usually turnovers, yeah. but uh, Maribel's got it rolling this year, and it's, it's something to watch. If you want to see that, it will be on NFHS, and if you have a subscription, I say you need to watch this one. It could be a, you know, Closer game than the last time, but it uh, should be fun to watch. Also, Greenville up there in uh, Green County, they're playing at Anderson County, Brett, and you've got that listed as yeah. a pick. What do you think about that game? Uh, they need the they need to win a game. Uh, a game. So you're rooting for Greenville? No. The, oh, you're rooting for Anderson County. Yeah. Okay, Anderson yeah. County. You got Brett on your side. All right. And then uh, you got, is it Macon County? Yeah. And White County. Now, Brett, I know you're not traveling to see these teams, but are you picking this one? I'm going with uh, White County. So you're picking the home teams. Yeah. I see what's going on here. And then Gatlinburg is traveling to Alcoa, and I don't even know what kind of a nightmare that's going to be. <laughs> uh, Gary, what's your take on Alcoa this year? Alcoa's won, what, nine straight Tennessee State titles, going and unbeaten it in 3A, moving up to 4A next season. but On request. They yes. requested yeah. to, not because their population growth. But and it's a scheduling thing that their AD yeah. says you know, will help them there. But uh, Poor old Gatlinburg-Pittman, they'll be thankful that they're up in 4A next year because yeah. <laughs> right. and Red Bank right, and other right, people right. like that. So, I mean, Alcoa is going to name their score, you know. Okay. Meigs County is going to travel to um, Sequatchie. So that should be a pretty moderate league. But it was the team that uh, McMahon Central played. That's right. And got put out. And also... I'm going with Sequo uh You like Sequoia? No, I'm Megs. Oh, you like Megs. Okay, Megs the Tigers? Yeah. Aren't they the Tigers? Yeah. yeah. And then Riverdale playing Oakland. Those are rivals. It's they know the same each other. Bracket. They're in it's the same, same bracket. It's in the same bracket as Bearden and that's, Maribel. That's who, you know, we'll end up matching up against. And, you know, down the road, or I say we, I'm talking about Bearden and Maribel. Like, yeah. I'm all of a sudden a Maribel fan, but... Uh, that's that's who's going to match. I'm not. That's who's going to match up. You know, later down the road and uh, Oak Ridge knock out uh, knock off uh, McMinn County. McMinn County last week. So yeah, now man. they have to play East Hamilton at East only, Hamilton. Only only uh, county team. Chattanooga team still left. It is. So what do you think about Sevier County and Knox West? I'm going with East Hamilton. Uh, oh, you're picking East Hamilton yeah. out of the game. Okay. At home. What do you think about Sevier County and Knox West? I'm going with Knox West. Hosting that one. So yeah. that's going to be a big one. Knox West, always a contender. Two times. Back-to-back uh, -back state ties in 5A. So. Yeah. So pretty good. That's a slate of high school football. Now, before we go, let's talk a little bit about basketball season coming in. And really, you need to watch... Two coaches shows coming on in just a few minutes with Gary, the Coach Reuter show and I'll t the Coach Carpenter show, and I will tell you they're going to kind of you know invoke a little of the mystique that's been surrounding both of these teams and tell you a little bit more and what to expect. They're both playing tomorrow night. We had a taste of it last night <laughs> with uh, the JV or freshman team. Not sure which, but um, they were playing last night here at Bradley. Uh, but tomorrow. This is a big one. We need you to come out to the Jim Smitty house and uh, watch these games. These are top-tier teams. These are not joker teams coming to play Bradley. Uh, you have River Ridge, which is out of Woodstock, Georgia. This is a team that Bradley played last year down at Woodstock. Uh, the Barretts, yeah. you know, played down there. And then they're coming up here. So, um, Gary, what's your idea about that? Well, it's great competition. River first Ridge of all. is River Ridge is uh, every year one of the top traditionally strong teams in Georgia. They're ranked in the top five again this year. The boys tomorrow night after the girls play will take on Silverdale, the Seahawks, and they played them last year. Lost to Silverdale down there, beat Silverdale up here. So uh, that will be a test for the Bears and Coach Carpenter in his fifth season. You know, he he got to the substate last year, first time right, in four right. years. So That's right. uh, he's looking to bring his record up. You know, he started out with nine losses. His very first year, or nine wins, that was a COVID year. Right, right. And increased at 22 last year and had a, a really solid year. Lost 69 to 60 in the substate of Cookville, but uh, it's going to be a great doubleheader tomorrow night. We have a JV boys game also. Oh, that's right. That's right. So JV boys. Come early. Come early. Bring some pocket money. There's concessions open. Yep. 
They would appreciate you spending some money there, buy you a hot dog to tame off until you want a meal somewhere else, make a meal out of the hot dog, whatever you want to do, nachos, <laughs> nachos popcorn, yeah. candy bars. <laughs> Brett likes all that stuff. What's your favorite? Reese's. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> Reese's. So, Brett, um, tell them where they can watch that game, those games. Um, you can listen to the um, Talk 101.3 ESPN Top one one point three with Gary Armby and Steve Wills. That's right. Yep. And the Bear Network. And, and you can watch it on the Bear Network with Steve and Gary. Yeah. So uh, twice as nice, and we'd love to have you join us. We have sponsors that make it free to you. And on YouTube, too. And it's on YouTube. You can also go to bchs.tv, right. and it's right there for you, so you don't have to search for it. And right here, too. You can also watch it on NFHS if you want to catalog these games and, you know, find it. You can see it on NFHS. You can watch it on Facebook. You can watch it on YouTube. Uh, we try to make it, you know, easy and convenient. I've had different people tell me, look, my TV, I like to watch Facebook, you know, and, and that's what I want to see on my TV. I'm like, great, we'll do it. Other people, no, 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 no. I've got Roku. I can't even do Facebook. I need to watch YouTube. So we do that as well. <laughs> and right and right here too. And right here. You can come here and watch it in person. And even better. And this show right here too. And you can watch this show as well. Which Brett has his own channel. If you, I don't know if you're watching this and on and describe. Brett Network or you're watching on Brett Whitehead Sports. But and describe. Go ahead and subscribe on Brett Whitehead Sports. He would appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. And I got something for you. Back when Brett was a student here, this would have been in 2009 or yeah. 2010, probably 2010. Brett was our own special reporter. He went and covered the county Special Olympics. You can find that on uh, the Bear Network channel. It's really good. Way, <laughs> way back, Brett, a young Brett Whitehead. <laughs> when he yeah. had hair. Man. When he had hair, when he was, you know, looking so youthful and spry and talking to a lot of his buddies. Uh, Jeremy, I think, yeah. on that. And uh, anyway, you can find a lot of different things on uh, Bear Network, and we encourage you to go in there and look. You can watch games from previous years and all of that. I think that's all we got, guys. So until next time, we'll see you on the sideline.